Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Izik and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video. Now in this video, I've got some good information and basically good news for all the old gen uh, platform, platform gamers because Black Ops 3 is actually going to come out on Xbox 360 and PS3 which is actually confirmed by the Game Informer magazine which is one of the most subscribed magazines about video games so I don't think that they would post something that isn't true and yeah so basically the in their post they had actually the Black Ops 3 game and it said that the platforms that it's coming out on is P PC, PS4, PS3, Xbox 360 and Xbox One so that's guys a huge huge uh, thing for Black Ops 3 now I think this is going to be the last year when they release a game on the old gen consoles because you know they want to fo focus on mainly on the uh, current gen which is the PS4 and Xbox One and they j don't just want to waste time on the old gen now why we haven't heard anything about the old gen and Black Ops 3 coming out on old gen is because like without a doubt Treyarch isn't making the game for PS3 and Xbox 360. The same thing happened in Advanced Warfare. Sledgehammer Games wasn't making Advanced Warfare for PS3 and Xbox 360. It was the high moon, but I'm not sure what company is going to make it for Treyarch and for PS3 and PS uh, and Xbox 360. But it's going to be very, very similar, guys. Don't worry. You still have a chance to play Black Ops 3, but I might consider a new place upgrading to current gen consoles but that's not everything I want to talk about in this video guys also David Von Der Hunt actually said on, twi on Twitter that scavenger is going to be in the game but the toughness isn't going to be available in the multiplayer now I think this is a step in the right direction because take a look at this like toughness is one of the most used perks since Black Ops 2 because that's the, that's when it actually got introduced into Call of Duty we didn't have like toughness in COD 4 or MW2 so it was introduced in Black Ops 2 then we had focus and ghosts and now we have again toughness and this is most overused perk in the whole game and basically you're just like with a laser gun when you're when you when you have the perks so and in advanced warfare is just a must use perk with the blast oppressor or the scavenger I personally run the scavenger but the toughness for the past three years has been the most used perk in the whole game so and with the removing it it actually uh, I mean it's a good way to uh, keep the game going with in the right way but the question is what's going to be the flinch and the kick of the weapon now. David Wonderheart said that it would be the same as if you're using the toughness, but with the half effect of the toughness. I mean, as if you're having the toughness, but with the half effect of it. So that is a pretty, pretty smart decision from the side of uh, Treyarch, because I think that's a very, very good step, and that's a well-played game there. So toughness is actually removed, and I think that's a good thing. That's just, you know, good thing, because... People can, uh, you know, focus on some other perks and be more free to custom, uh, you know, customize their loadout in more different ways. So they don't have to just must use a, you know, a certain perk. But there always will be perks that are better than some other perks, but not as much as toughness was in previous three Call of Duties. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much everything I want to talk about. And hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll leave the link for all Black Ops 3 news that I have posted so far so i'll catch you guys next time peace out